this was the first time it occurred to us that she might have really believed in this stuff. Girl, you went back by yourself to talk to the ghost. You're nuts. Or brave. I don't know. <laughs> Our aunt had given us an old Ouija board as a joke the year before, and we thought, well, Savannah might like it. Savannah lit up and said she wanted to try to talk to Kieran, so we're like, all right, let's go try it out. We huddled in the hallway, connecting the apartments, and put our hands on the board. And we kept getting random letter letters that didn't make sense. But soon Savannah's questions were directed to Kieran. <laughs> we felt Savannah moving the planchette, and we called her out, but she got mad and said that she would prove it. So she took her hands off the planchette, but it no longer moved. And she huffed and was like, no, it wasn't me. And it's like, girl calm down, we know it's you, just like stop making it weird over the next few weeks we did mostly normal stuff with her but she kept talking about the ghosts and the Ouija board until we broke down and were like fine, we'll play it again but this time we were introduced to a new ghost, his name was Evan we knew it was Savannah moving the planchette but we were curious about the story she was making so we let her follow through Evan was a ghost, or a demon rather, about our age, who wanted free from a greater demon that was controlling him. The greater demon's name, Kieran. You can't see this, but I just rolled my eyes. <laughs> Savannah's parents called her inside, and conveniently Evan had to go too. He told us he'd protect us against Kieran, especially Savannah. Savannah commented on how cute it was for him to offer her Okay, I'm sorry, this girl sounds a little bit like a nutcase. Or maybe she's just lonely. So a few days go by. But then Savannah's back to us, and now she's saying that she has a boyfriend. And we're happy for her. Like, oh my god, who is it? Tell me. She says his name is Evan. We're wondering what the hell she's talking about, and she explains that while sleeping over at another friend's house, something had tugged off her shorts while she slept. She woke up and heard Evan's voice, and he visited her in her dreams and asked her to date or something like that. She said, yes, of course, we know she made up Evan, so we're kind of like, yo, what's wrong with you? And we don't talk about the demon stuff anymore because now this is just a little too freaking weird. Now, on top of this, Savannah was really possessive over her friends. When she would see us hanging with someone else, she would text us nonstop about why we hadn't invited her. So we tried to keep our distance, but she lived on the ground floor and literally watched out her window waiting for us to come outside. She completely latched on to us. We didn't know much about her home life, but she always seemed troubled. She had scars on her wrist and talked about running away from home. Her parents seemed all right, rather strict and religious. We still hung out with her because we were worried, but we started to feel weird about it. Worse, she randomly would show up holding her hand out, saying Evan was holding her hand. She'd look at random things and laugh when no one was talking because Evan had told her a joke. Once, she made us feel her cheek where it was supposedly warm from Evan kissing her. It was not warm. <laughs> One day, my sister and I were bored from her talking to Evan on the Ouija board. She was still controlling the whole thing and wanted some fun. I texted my mom to call my phone from a blocked number and play creepy sounds. Looking back, on this, it was one of the dumbest things that I did, but at the time, it was just for fun, so my mom made the call and put it on speaker. Savannah is a living for it, especially when my mom played a track from a scary movie about a ghost. My mom took it a step further and threw a banana off our third-story balcony <laughs> for us to see, and Savannah said it was a sign that Kieran was winning, and we had no idea of the fire this was going to light in her. We were about to tell her it was a prank, but again, our mom called her inside. Y'all just made the crazy more crazy. <laughs> and she found us again the next day, and I came clean about the prank. She laughed and said there was no way we could have done that. And I was like, no, like my mom literally did all of it. Well, Savannah told her friend about it, who told her that the yellow objects, like the banana, were a sign of the devil, and seeing them meant the devil was hunting you. This is all she talked about for a while. 
she was with us when she wasn't <laughs> and we saw later um, and later we saw her with a 19 year old dude this girl is only 14 now my sister and I and my mom have moved as well 